hi guys welcome to concept of mathematics we will discuss each question in detail from exercise 1.2 of nc8 rt class element this exercise is basically based on definition of empty sets finite and infinite sets and equal sets so let us start with the first question which is as follows which of the following are examples of null set okay you have to identify the null set out of given four sets okay set of odd natural numbers divisible by two if we list out the elements of odd natural numbers it will be 1 3 5 and so on but uh, how many of these are divisible by 2 no one okay so it will be a null set okay set of even prime numbers okay so first list out even numbers it will be 2 4 6 and so on uh, how many of these are primes only one so remaining will be cancelled out and it will be a set which element is 2 only so it would not be a null set okay it will be a finite set so we'll cancel this one and third one is the set of all x such that x is a natural numbers okay and x is less than 5 and x is greater than 7 let us see this first list out natural numbers okay Okay. Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. The first condition is x is less than five. That means only one, two, three, four will remain, and all will be cancelled. The second condition is x is greater than 7 okay it is already out from the set so this will be cancelled so we uh, observe that none of the elements remain in the set so it is also an empty set okay the next is the set of all y says that y is a point common to any two parallel lines okay so what is parallel lines we'll draw two parallel lines okay this is line l this is m and uh, take a point on any of this two line okay so is it common to both lines no so uh, it would be a empty set okay a point cannot lie on two different parallel lines okay so it would be a uh, empty be an empty set okay now coming to the second question which one of the following sets are finite or infinite okay so finite sets are those sets whose elements are countable okay that means we can count 
the elements of finite set and in a set of infinite uh, set we cannot count elements okay that means elements are uncountable so let us start the set of months of a year okay there are only uh, 12 months so it is finite okay finite set and now the next set is 1 2 3 elements of 1 2 3 that is all natural numbers so it is never ending numbers so it will be infinite okay and third one is a set which elements are 1 2 3 up to 100 there are only uh, 100 ele number here so it is finite because we can count the elements next is the set of positive integers greater than 100 okay there are infinitely many positive integers which are greater than 100 so it will be uh, infinite infinite set okay the set of prime numbers less than 99 it would be uh, finite okay finite the next question is state whether each of the following set is finite or infinite this is um, same as we have discussed previous question the set of lines which are parallel to x-axis okay first we draw the axis this is x-axis okay this is y axis okay so the lines which are parallel to x axis can be infinitely many parallel lines okay so this will be infinite okay infinite set the set of letters in english alphabets we can count uh, these letters they are 26 so it will be finite the set of net numbers which are multiple of five of course it is not finite set because there are infinitely many multiples of five that is five ten fifteen and so on the set of animals living on the earth uh, it will be a, a finite set because uh, the it will it is hard to count all animals but it will be a finite number okay so it is a finite set okay the set of circles passing through the origin okay again we draw x and y axis this will represent x axis this will represent y axis and the circle which passes through the origin okay you can draw this circle you can draw this circle you can draw you got the idea okay you can draw infinitely many circle which will pass from the origin okay so it will be a infinite set okay the next question is in which of the following a state whether set a is equal to set b or not okay only we have to state okay so set a is 
equal to which elements are A, B, C and D ok and B is the set which elements are A, B, C and D so A is equal to B because A is subset of B and B is subset of A that means elements which are present in A are also present in B and elements which are present in B also present in A ok ok here A is said which elements are 4, 8, 12 and 16 and B is said which elements are 8, 4, 16 and 18 uh, 4 is there 8 is there and 16 is there but 18 does not matches with any of the elements and in this set 12 does not matches with the elements of set A so we would say A is not equal to set B ok third is set A equals uh, which elements are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 and set B is set of all x such that x is a positive even integer integer and which is less than or equal to 10 of course set A is equal to B because elements uh, of B would be 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 uh, which is same as elements of set A ok next is A is equal to the set of all x such that x is a multiple of 10 and set B equals 10, 15, 20, 30 ok of course here elements of A are there in set B but some of the elements like this one, this one and some more also are not present in set A so we would say that A is not equal to B because A is subset of B but B is not subset of A ok the next question is are the following pair of sets equal give reason ok set A is uh, equal to uh, the set of elements uh, 2 and 3 ok and B is equal to the set of all x such that x is solution of x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 if we solve this equation let us see what we are going to get it is x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 equal 0 and again if we take x common to x plus 2 and take 3 common from this and equal to 0 again take x plus 2 as common and remaining will be x plus 3 equals to 2 this implies x equals minus 3 and minus 2 ok so set b would be um, minus 3 and minus 2 so we will clearly notice that a is not equal to b ok ok the next is a equals set of all x such that x is a letter in the word follow ok we will write it in uh, roster form f o l o is already taken and w and b is a set of all y says that y is a letter in the word wolf ok so w is there here w is also present o is there o is here also l 
and also present an F F. So all elements present in A are also present in B. So we will say that A is equal to B. Okay. The last question is from the sets given below, select equal sets. Okay. So we will focus on the elements uh, which are given in uh, roster form. Okay. Set A equals 2, 4, 8, and 12. We will look for the set which elements are 2, 4, 8, and 12. 2, 4, 8, and 12. Uh, here, 4 is there, 12 is there, 8 is there, but 14 does not match with 12, so it is not equal to A is not equal to C. Okay, you will write here A is not equal to C and B uh, the set which elements are 1, 2, 3, 4 ok we will look for ok D uh, which elements are 1, 2, 3 and 4 so we come to conclusion that B equals D ok uh, the next one is E elements of E are minus 1 and 1 ok and then we will go to G. The elements of set G are minus 1 and 1. So E is equal to G. Okay. Now left with F and H. Elements of F are 0 and A. Elements of H are 0 and 1. So 1 and A is not matches with each other. So F is not equal to H. Okay, that's it. By end of this, we have finished all the questions given in exercise 1.2. It is always recommended to try to solve the problem by yourself first before watching the solutions. If you have solved the questions by yourself, then also watch the solution to gain confidence in you if you like it please share subscribe and comment i am looking forward to see you in the next lecture which is based on concept of subsets power sets and universal set thanks for watching till then goodbye